We've already had two meetings, and this would be the final presentation, and I'm hoping that everybody enjoys uh, and, and is in agreement with what we are planning to do. <coughs> so as I said, uh, we discussed and recorded the ideas back in uh, July, and then we had we formed a design review committee, um, which was pretty much everybody who attended the first meeting wanted to be on the design review committee. Um, which was great because we got a lot of good ideas uh, and uh, helped me to uh, facilitate the uh, conceptual design that I'm about to show you. Um, the timeline for this will probably be about four to five months uh, for me to do the construction documents and get it permitted. Then about another two months to uh, go to the board and uh, get and, and get the uh, um, the uh, bidding uh, process gone and uh, begin construction probably in late spring, um, maybe early summer. Uh, it all depends on uh, how well the uh, inspection process goes. Uh, this is our budget. We have approximately $559,000 of which 20% will go towards design and um, uh, basically uh, facilitating uh, the uh, construction. And the actual construction budget will be four hundred forty-seven thousand. Um, I'm going to try to squeeze as much out of the uh, design uh, portion as I can and put it towards construction, if at all possible. So uh, more than likely, we'll have more than eighty percent to go towards that construction. That's the park location. It's on the corner of uh, Fort Myer Drive and the Front Edge Road uh, along the fifty. <coughs> this is the existing playground. Uh, can Everybody see that? I I do have some handouts. Let's see how those pass it around. This is the uh, proposed plan that uh, I'm showing you tonight. But basically, it's just a plastic structure, a couple plastic structures uh, on stilts, because in the existing location, there's a lot of underground utilities, and it, it really isn't conducive to uh, active play in that area. Uh, but I, I'm assuming that back in the day when they decided to place it there, it was one of the only level flat places on this property to place the playground, so they, they probably figured that's the best for that. Um, this is what I'm proposing. Uh, we have a, I'm going to try to keep all of the paving permeable uh, and, and have as least of impact to uh, the park as possible. So we have permeable paving, we have a concrete seat wall, we have concrete seat walls here and here. The playground will be divided into two sections. There will be a section for the two to five year olds and a section for the five to 12 year olds. And then we'll have a little picnic area down to the south. Bike racks, and that's just an example of what a bike rack for this type of theme. The theme is a nature theme, and that's what we came up with, and, and that's what the community wanted in the beginning. And so that's what I've been playing off of uh, all along. And that's uh, one of our typical Arlington County benches. <coughs> and that's a typical picnic table. How many tables? We have, uh, I'm going to be putting in, it's on two new tables, one ADA accessible table and one re uh, regular table. We do have an existing uh, picnic tables up at the top. There's actually three of them there. I won't be doing anything to that. In the beginning, um, I was thinking that it would be nice if we could get a wheelchair up to this point, but in my research, I found out that this street is, in fact, still a street, and there's a 40-foot right of way here. So in order to make any uh, improvements, I'd have to have a huge ramp that comes up here, and that would take more than half of our budget just for the ramp in, in order to put in a playground. Uh, and then uh, the other uh, um, setback would be that there, all the utility lines are running through here, so I can't put any footings in there really either. So um, that was a major design constraint. So uh, we focused on the lower uh, basin area <coughs> of the lot, and we tried to tuck it in because in the beginning everybody was saying, "Well, we want to keep as much open space as possible." So. I've concentrated in trying to, in, in order to fit any decent amount of play equipment in, in the park, it, it, you're going to need a very bare minimum of square footage. And this is the bare minimum of square footage for 
both age groups that I could possibly get into there. Um, we talked about possibly extending this out at the last meeting, uh, design review committee meeting, and um, most everybody was in favor of it and keeping it as it is you know, without in enlarging it any greater. Um, and I've been working with um, some vendors, and, of which I will show you in a, in a few minutes, uh, uh, what the possibility of that would look like. So this is a typical layout. What can happen in here? Um, this is purely conceptual and is not uh, what would actually be installed, but it isn't indicative of, of what could be placed here. So we'd have a for the two to five year olds, you'd have a, a small apparatus, a swing set, and um, everything's kind of got the nature theme. So that's that's like a a, a log cabin kind of uh, playhouse, and that's a, a log balance beam. And, this, and the swing set is actually a tree stump with the, with the swings coming off of it. It's really neat stuff. And then the two to five year olds, this is actually, we're, climb, we're going up, we're going to have to have an ADA ramp up to here uh, because of the topography. So basically this is going to be a seat wall and there will be a two foot difference between the two to five year olds and the five to twelve year olds. Um, this play surface is going to be something that we haven't done yet. Uh, to my knowledge, in Arlington County, uh, we'd like to try out some synthetic turf. It has come a long way with synthetic, synthetic turfs, and there is a company that's making one that looks almost exactly like grass. It's got like three different types of blades um, and, and different colors, so it, it looks natural. Um, that is what typically this structure may look like. Although I am working with a company that does custom stuff, and uh, it will even look more natural than that. And there's the log balance beam. So again, it's 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 regular play equipment uh, uh, in what it does for the children, but it, but it has a natural feel to it. There's the tree. It's a, a leg crawl, a log crawl for the little kids to try to, and I know I have a three-year-old son who loves stuff like that. And uh, one of the things that we found in a lot of our parks that is very successful is having a, a sand area for the kids to play with and, and, and putting in a farm pump for them to use so they can have that water element in there. Um, it does bring up the cost a little bit, but it's not as expensive as uh, putting in a drinking fountain per se. So. Um, to buy half the cost, and uh, they really enjoy it. So the, the play factor is huge with, with one of those. And then in that sand area, um, I was thinking about putting in some uh, play discovery items like fossil digs. They can discover fossils in the play center. And then that's this is what the five to twelve year old uh, apparatus might look like. Um, yeah, instead of a typical slide, you have it's it's a lot of hollow log kind of thing. And then there's lots of climbing apparatuses and stuff on it. Yeah. And then this is something I'm not I'm not sure if we're actually going to implement. It just depends on uh, if we can get this structure to be that size. Um, but these are like uh, tree climbers, and uh, with the the theory behind that is you group them together and you can climb from and jump from each one to the other. And then there's a sample of the synthetic grass. And then we have a couple planters built in so I can uh, get in as many trees as possible. And then that's what it, it'll look like. This is the area where the existing apparatus is. So what we'll do is we'll just put trees in there and make it open space. And this is the create play custom stuff. And this is, it's kind of dark, it's hard to see, but um, they make the most natural looking play apparatuses today, and I'm currently working with them on, on this project. So as you can see, it's pretty natural. So right now, um, we have to start the conceptual design uh, process if everybody's in agreement with uh, the plan and everybody likes what's going in there, and uh, I'll post updates on the website as we move forward to construction. Are there any questions? Aaron, do you have any uh, vote? Or? Yes. It is. Okay. Uh, can I ask uh, then um, if those of you who support what you've seen in terms of the 
conceptual plan for the Fort Myers playground. Uh, would you raise your hand? Okay. Uh, uh, of course, that's residents I'm asking, of course. <laughs> Not the airport officials. But, uh, and anybody opposed? All right. You got the vote? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Some questions. No, questions. No, no. There was one opposed. Thank you very much. There was one opposed. Behind you. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. You know, so, Mr. Chairman, you're building your. I don't even understand what you're doing. You're not going to build on the place that's already built into the playground. You're going to build on the grass part of that, the river playground. The lower piece. So you're taking out all the grass and stuff to put in a synthetic thing that looks sort of like grass. Correct. Putting in a bunch of playground equipment, so there will no longer be a possibility of volleyball games or you know. Well, uh, we're leaving the long stretch along the, the frontage open. So where the trees are, you're not going to take out the trees. Correct. And where the spring is, where it's always a swamp, you're probably going to leave that. Correct. And there are a bunch of trees that were planted there, but the only open dry space is going to now be a playground. It's the only place that, that's conducive for a playground. And so we're, we're essentially changing the park usage from the people who live in that immediate area who are professionals to the, the block over younger children. Right. It, it, it's always been on the books for Arlington County, County to renovate the play over there. Now we finally have the funds to do so. So it, you're not these funds are just.